Hello again, and welcome back to Awario. In today's video, we will talk about Awario leads and have a quick look at some of the settings. Awario leads is a separate module in Awario that lets you find potential customers. The way it works is pretty simple. It will ask you for a few product descriptions and a list of competitors, and then use those keywords in combination with predictive insights to search for people on social media who are looking for a product like yours or complaining about your competitors. Effectively, Awario Leads is your personal social media feed full of targeted prospects. It can be super effective for finding potential customers for your business or early adopters for your startup and so on. But it's important that you invest a little bit of time in the initial setup to make sure you get exactly the results you want. Let's take a look. You will find a leads module in the left-hand menu of every project. If you haven't set up leads yet, you'll see a screen like this. So you'll need to turn leads on. If you have, just hover your mouse over the leads module in the menu and click the gear button. We're now in the settings for your leads alert. Let's start with the product descriptions. Ideally, these should be two to three word phrases describing your product or service. Make sure not to sound too technical here. Instead, think of words potential customers might call your product. Let's say your product is a project management app for Regile development. The keywords you might use here are productivity tool, project management tool, issue tracking system, etc. I will also add all of these words in plural because a warrior will search for the exact words you type in and tool and tools are technically two different words. This setup is usually enough, but there's a little advanced hack that I wanted to share that lets you take things one step further. So if you sit back and go back to the problem that your product or service solves, like in our example, that could be the messiness of the development process, it could be certain problems like, you know, the number of bugs, missed deadlines, etc. It could be a lack of communication within the team and so on. So if you think about your potential customer that who realizes that they've got this problem, you'll understand that initially they may not necessarily be looking for tools and apps to solve it. Initially, they're likely to ask for, you know, tips and advice and other people's project management routine, etc. So those leads won't necessarily be, you know, as hot as someone looking for a product like yours specifically, but still, there's, there's a lot of opportunity in there as well. Effectively, these are the things people may be asking about that your product may indirectly help them with. Next up, competitors. A warrior will feed the competitors you specify to its algorithm to look for competitor detractors or people who are complaining about your competitors on social media. It's often a great idea to also include your competitors' social media handles if they're different from their brand names. Also, make sure to avoid competitors whose brand name is a common word like, you know, Slack or Drift. This way, you'll likely encounter a lot of results that are not as relevant as you'd like. If your competitor has a name that's a common word, it's best to use their social media handle instead. Here's one more pro tip. If you're competing with big brands, make sure to research their Twitter account. Quite often, they will have an official Twitter account, a separate account that handles questions and support queries, and then, often, even separate accounts for different countries. Including these Twitter handles into the competitors field will give you even more relevant results. Negative keywords are used to exclude posts containing them from your feed. Negative keywords can be super handy if there's an ambiguity in some of your product descriptions, or if you notice that some of the results in your feed are not exactly relevant to your target audience. In our example with productivity tools and hacks, we may encounter quite a lot of posts by students who are, you know, preparing for exams and looking for ways to get more productive with their studies. But students are not, you know, the audience that we are looking for. We are looking for developers and development teams and project managers, etc. So to make those posts go away from the feed, 
we'll just add all those school-related keywords as negative keywords, and that's it. Next up is language. Currently, only English is supported for leads, but we'll keep adding more languages as we go. Let's move on. If you'd like to get leads from specific countries, use the country filter. Mind that social networks don't always return a location with posts. In particular, Reddit doesn't provide this info at all. So to avoid missing mentions that don't include a location, you may also want to tick the unknown box. This way, you'll see leads from the countries you've selected, plus the ones whose location isn't specified. Sources are the different channels that you want to search for leads in. By default, Twitter, Reddit, Facebook and Google Plus are selected. Those are usually the best in terms of leads. But you're free to exclude some of those or include others if you'd like to. The date range is the age of the posts you find. If you're using popular keywords that give a long list of leads, you may want to choose a shorter period. But if your keywords are rather rare, a broader range might be useful. Lastly, you can also set up the frequency of email notifications about new leads where you find, or turn the emails off altogether. If you'd like to turn leads off at any point, you can also do it here. Lastly, hit save and give a Wario a few minutes to come up with the first leads for you. And that's it! Thank you so much for watching this video on Wario leads, and stay tuned! In the next video, we will talk about working with your data in your Awarium feed.